Okay, welcome to Cooking on Low. Um, today we're going to make chocolate chip cookies, but instead of just regular chocolate chip, we are going to be adding bacon to them. Um, so I'm cooking my bacon right now. I have six sli slices of bacon. Um, I sprinkle a little brown sugar on them. I'm doing the oven at 350. 10 minutes on each side, I flip them halfway at the 10 minute mark, put some more brown sugar on the other side, and then cook them the rest of the way. Doing them nice and crispy. Sheet tray with parchment paper um, is all I do. Um, other than that, the only other difference, I'm gonna chop that up and throw it in with the chocolate chips. The other thing I do is I add a tablespoon of bacon fat, which I have already flipped the bacon once. I got a tablespoon of the bacon fat that I put in with our sugar. Um, whenever we do cookie, cookies, you always start with your sugar and your fat, which is butter and bacon fat. And we're gonna cream it into a nice creamy um, consistency. So, we have our butter here that we're putting in. And Isley's gonna put in the other half. Good job. Uh, we wanna cream this. Like the first. Cream it. Um, so you want it nice and uh, very creamy. You don't want to see sugar bits in it, okay? So this should be a very creamy mixture. Uh, if you can set the butter out beforehand to get it room temperature, go for it. Um, if you don't, and you just pull it straight out of the fridge, make sure you cut it in small pieces first, um, and you're just gonna mix a little longer. You want it to be nice and creamy, okay? These are chocolate chip cookies, so there's brown sugar in there. Uh, more brown sugar than um, white sugar. And uh, we already have our flour, baking powder, or baking soda, and salt in this container. Um, sometimes what I do with my chocolate chips is I will, chick cookies, I will add cinnamon, um, just like a teaspoon of cinnamon, and it would usually go in here. Um, but since we're adding bacon, I don't want to take away from the bacon, so um, I am adding, uh, I didn't add any to this one. Uh, we also need one egg. Um, if you want to add a splash of vanilla, you can. Um, I don't usually do my chocolate chip cookies. I do to my sugar cookies. Okay, so we're just gonna let this stir until everything's nice and homogenized, um, to where we can't see any butter bits. Okay, and it's very creamy. Okay, we don't want it to look like wet, wet sand. Got it. We're gonna take a look. Um, as you can see, there are still pieces of butter that you can see. So we're gonna scrape down the bowl and the paddle. Much creamier though. Consistency um, does not look like wet sand, which is not what you want. Don't want it to look like wet sand. So scrape it down and we're gonna stir it some more. So, uh, we're gonna check it. Okay, it's been mixing about four or five minutes. We got a nice creamy consistency. It's a little uh, lighter in color. So what we're gonna do now is we are going to put our egg in after we scrape down the bowl. So egg in. Get that mixed in. What we're going to do next is we're going to slowly add our flour mixture. If you have a KitchenAid, this is always a fun add-on, and all this is make a shoot. So put it on low and slowly add your flour. Here 
you want to put it over here? Um, so you use your other hand? Yeah. Okay. I'm oh, left handed. Okay. Left handed. I'm right handed. Sometimes I forget that. Okay. Um, go slow. Don't go slow. Don't turn your speed up. You want it to uh, be mixed in. You put it on too high, you're going to get flour everywhere. So we want to go slow on the speed on the speed of the mixer. Okay. Come on. Add it in. No, but it's okay. Okay, and then you got it. The rest in. All right. So now that we've got our flour mixture mixed together with our butter and sugars. We're going to add in our chocolate chips and our bacon. On the bacon, okay, I have it here. Um, it's candied bacon, so it's got brown sugar in it, so it's sweet. Um, you can cut it big and cut it small however you want. Um, I just, I chopped it up um, into smaller pieces. So we took it off the mixer to, put, to mix all our stuff together. So we're gonna put chocolate chips in. Just dump, dump. And our bacon is gonna go in. Okay, uh, we are using mini chocolate chips, so these are smaller. Okay, so um, mm. if you have bigger chocolate chips, you can use those as well. I like the minis a little better. That's just my own personal um, reason. Uh, the amount's the same. A cup of chocolate chips doesn't matter if they're minis or or the big ones. Um, if you buy the really really big ones, that's when you get into a little difference. But um, so now we just want to mix it so that we are all mixed together. The main reason why um, I don't mix this in the mixer is because when you mix with the paddle it creates friction and heat which causes your chocolate chips to melt all right so once we've got them all mixed together all right it's time to measure them out um so how do people make them perfect well they try to keep them the same size the way that a lot of kitchens do stuff to make them the same size a lot of restaurants and things you can do at home to make them the same size get a scale Digital scale, okay? Um, meatballs work well, cookies work well. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna put them on there and we want them to weigh 1.5 ounces. Okay, uh, one and a half ounces, roughly what you're going for. We're gonna roll them into a ball like that. Okay, and then onto a sheet tray and press them down. Don't smash them, just press them a little bit. They are gonna spread out. So we want them to uh, uh, be pressed down into a disc. Um, we don't want them to be flat like a pancake. Two, uh, about an inch apart. And you want it, what I usually try to go for on these is a three by four. Not so much, a little less. Okay, when you press them down, um, you want them to be nice um, disc shape, circular shape. Okay, so um, as you can see, we got uh, 24 cookies, plus we're gonna have a little extra. Um, so we're gonna bake these for about eight to 10 minutes. Um, thing with cookies, when you cook them, you want to go until the edges are brown. Okay, you don't want the whole thing to be brown. Um, if you want really crisp cookies, yeah, go for brown. If you want soft cookies with a crisp outside, you just want them to start browning on the outside. Okay, trust me, I've been making cookies long enough to know that once they start browning on the outside, they come out fine. Um, so we're going to put these in the oven, 350, for um, 
8 to 10 minutes, or should I say 350, sorry. 375, 8 to 10 minutes. Okay, um, so these have been, we're in for 10 minutes. Um, I pulled them out, I leave them on the tray for two minutes, okay? And then uh, I will take them off and let them cool the rest of the way on the sheet tray. Nice and round and they all look pretty uniform. Um, I've been known to do three ounce cookies. Uh, they're a little bigger, not as many can fit on a tray. Um, and you just gotta be more careful with those. Uh, with those, you have to flatten them all the way out so that they cook, all right? So I like to give them another two minutes on a rack, cooling rack. Okay, great thing about cooling racks, uh, when they cool, they cool the top and the bottom. Okay, um, as you can see, pieces of bacon sticking out. Let them cool um, at least another two minutes uh, and then they're ready to enjoy. Uh,